from littlegrommets.com. First of all, I would never proclaim to be a doctor, but two of my four children have had grommets or ear tube surgery five times between them. So I've put together this series of videos of helpful information on the before, during and after of grommets or ear tube surgery in everyday language. I'll talk about the associated risks and benefits of grommets or ear tube surgery, what to expect and essential aftercare advice. This segment will cover grommets and ear tube aftercare. Your ENT will arrange a checkup for a couple of weeks after the procedure to check how the grommets or ear tubes have settled, that they're positioned well, and to also check for any infection. In most cases, you'll have been given one or two different types of eardrops straight after surgery, along with instructions for use. Make sure you ask your doctor if you are at all unsure of the number of drops to administer or the number of days to use the drops. Ear drainage or gunk in the form of yellow fluid or mucus can ooze from the ear any time from just after the operation or at any time while the grommets or ear tubes are in place. You might even see a blood discharge soon after surgery. You can of course use cotton wool or gauze to keep the outer ear clean and dry. In all of my five instances of surgery with my children, the ooze has stopped after a couple of days. Make sure you see your specialist or ENT if a profuse, really revolting smelling discharge keeps seeping out of the ear because that could mean an infection and you might just need some more eardrops. You need to keep ears dry while the grommets or ear tubes are in. That could mean for up to 18 months. In other words, water should not be allowed to enter the ear canal while the tubes are in place. This is because the tube provides a passage into the middle ear to allow for ventilation but water can also pass into the middle ear space and could cause an ear infection. Always follow your doctor's advice regarding water precautions. The reason I created Little Grommet's earplugs and earbands was because I couldn't find anything to keep my children's ears dry. Whenever there's a chance of water contamination, when your child is swimming, bathing or washing hair, you can use our earplugs and earbands to keep the water out and keep ears dry. You'll need to get ears checked every six months until the tubes or grommets work their way out. Sometimes, in rare cases, they may need to be surgically removed. Some children might experience mild discomfort or blood drainage around the time of grommets coming out. The small hole in the eardrum heals within a few weeks. And you can ask your doctor when it will be safe to allow water in the ears again. Meantime, please take a look at our website and our helpful videos on how to easily fit our earplugs and earbands to keep ears dry. I really hope this segment has been useful. Look out for our other earlier instalments on what to expect before and during surgery and how to prepare. And watch our other videos on using earplugs and earbands to keep the water out. I'm Mimi of littlegrommets.com. Thanks for watching.